They, uh, we have a glimmer of hope for the Fraser Valley home buyers as new listings surge in January. Now, if you ask any of my sellers who are also buyers, they would beg to differ <laughs> because, oh my goodness, it's still very, very hard to find uh, a property. Uh, but it's still a glimmer of hope. So the this release, uh, news release from the Rural Freeze Valley Real Estate Board came out February 2nd. And here it is. On the heels of the busiest year in history for Fraser Valley real estate, January activity saw the beginning of a market rebalancing. Overall property sales, still the third highest ever for January, it cooled compared to December, while the volume of new listings improved significantly. The board received new listings in January of an increase of 67.1% compared to December of 2021 and a decrease of 23.3% compared to January of last year. Total active listings for the month were 2,332, which is actually down 44.6% compared to January of 2021. However, an increase of 19.2% compared to December 2021. If you're a numbers person, you'll get all that. If you're not, you may have to like watch our podcast or go on uh, Country 107.1's website or my website to re-listen to this episode because it's a lot of numbers coming at you and more to come. So Larry Anderson, president of the Real Estate Board, said in January, realtors saw the return of home sellers. Yes. Sales in our region remain elevated, but a positive early trend for 2022 is we experience a significant increase in requests from sellers to list. It's early days yet, but if the trend continues into spring, we could see an, a, an easing of the supply and demand dynamic in our region. We have a long way to go to replenish our housing stock and bring much needed balance to the market, but this is a step in the right direction. So we anticipate the seasonal influx of new inventory, such as we're already seeing, it could provide a welcome, albeit far from fully adequate, easing of price growth into uh, 2022. In January of this year, so the average number of days to sell a single-family detached home in our beautiful Fraser Valley was 25 days, compared to 35 days in January of last year. And it took 12 days on average to sell a townhouse and 17 days for apartments compared to 28 and 37 days from last year. So now going into the benchmark price activity for the overall Fraser Valley, and then we'll get into each municipality. But for overall Fraser Valley, single family detached homes, benchmark price is at $1,569,300. And that's an increase of 4.6% compared to December, an increase of 41.8% compared to January of last year. Townhouses benchmark price is at $796,500, and that is an increase of 4% compared to last month, that's December, and an increase of 37.2% compared to January of last year. Apartments benchmark price at $574,300, And that is an increase of 4.6% compared to December and an increase of 30.6% compared to January of last year. So now going into municipality, by municipality, Abbotsford first. Detached homes benchmark price are at $1,375,000 and 600, actually. An increase of 48.4% from last year. Wow, an increase of 4.7% from December. Townhouses in Abbotsford are at 661,000. That's a 35.5% increase from last year and an increase of 2.6% from the month before. Apartments are at $457,100 and that's an increase of 39.7% from last year and an increase of 5.8% from the month before. Now, mission detached benchmark prices are at $1,159,000. Boy, I wouldn't have thought that back in 2007 when I bought a mission. And that is, right? Yeah, that's a pretty big, uh, you know, maybe you should have hung on to that property just a little bit longer, Michelle. Don't tell me that. Like Warren Buffett says, you hold real estate, you never sell it. 
well, of course, unless you have to do better equity. Anyways, that's a whole other um, episode. So we'll talk about that later. That's an increase of 45.7% from last year and an increase of 8.1% from the month before. Townhouses emission benchmark price at $650,500, an increase of 34.8% from last year and an increase of 2.2% from the month before. And condos are at $464,900, an increase of 23.1% from last year and an increase of 2.4% from the month before. And then detached benchmark price for White Rock, South Surrey areas at $1,927,000 an increase of 30.5%. No, sorry, 30.5%. Yeah, I said that right. Uh, double double check there. It's not Groundhog Day anymore, but there you have it. Uh, that's an increase from last year, and month to over month, it's an increase of 2.6%. And then townhouses, their benchmark price is at 961800 an increase of 41.1% from last year, and an increase of 4.4% from the month before. And condos in White Rock, South Surrey are at $633,200, an increase of 24.2% from last year and an increase of 2.2% from the month before. Langley's benchmark prices for detached homes are at $1,600,000 and $41,300, an increase of 41.1% sorry, from last year and an increase of 5.2% from the month before. Townhouses in Langley are at $793,500, an increase of 33.8% from last year, and an increase of 2.9% from the month before. And condos at $534,400, an increase of 31.6% from last year, and surprise, an increase of 2.6% from the month before. And then Delta, North Delta, benchmark price for detached are one million four hundred and fifty seven thousand nine hundred. That's an increase of forty four point two percent from last year and an increase of four point three percent from the month before. And townhouses at eight hundred and nine thousand eight hundred, an increase of forty point four percent from last year and an increase of five point seven percent from the month before. And condos in Delta are at four hundred and eighty thousand dollars a 23.6% increase from last year and an increase of 7.9% from the month before. And then the city of Surrey, and this is all combined, all of city of Surrey, benchmark prices for detached, $1,674,100, an increase of 39.5% from last year and an increase of 4% for the month before. Townhouses, $836,600, an increase of 38.9%, from the last year and an increase of 4.7% from the month before. And condos at 522100 an increase from last year of 29.4% and an increase from the month before of 5%. And did you notice, Curtis, every single municipality in our beautiful Fraser Valley, benchmark prices for detached homes, they're all over a million dollars. I did notice that actually, as you were going through all that, and it's just it's remarkable to me that uh, that uh, that's where we're at. And you know what? Looking at the median prices and average prices, I, I just took a glance. Every single one in every single municipality is all over a million dollars for detached. It's amazing. Wow. Well, with that, we should probably think about taking a break, Michelle. Now, there's a lot of stats there, and I know you love your stats, and people can get a hold of these stats by going where. To Michelle Cummins.ca. We're back with more right after this.